Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple test to check for squareness on something like this little angle plate here. Um, I bought that uh, at a uh, op shop and uh, it was just rough machined. I've since ground it. Now I'm going to show you how to check that it's square just with simple stuff that you've probably already got lying around your workshop. You've probably already got some of these tools, if not all of them. Um, if you've got a home metalworking shop, then these are great tools to have. Um, this is a surface plate. I bought this one from India. Wasn't that expensive. Fits nicely on top of my Rolly toolbox. Yeah, I think they call them a B grade. The A grade stuff's really expensive and you never need that for at home. Yeah, they say it's hand scraped. I can see lots of little marks on the top here, but they're all looking a bit too even. But anyway, that's what I've got and it's flat enough for this purpose. I've got my uh, uh, test indicator on a magnetic base. Uh, you can do this with a, a surface block but if you don't have one of those you're more likely to have one of these. And this is just a lump of, it could be any lump of steel that's round. Um, this is something I machined on the little lathe here. It's got a special purpose that I'll probably do a video on one day. But it's uh, basically flat and it gives, uh, it's important that uh, it has a round surface on it here. So I'll stick the magnet roughly in the middle. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be particularly fancy because the process will allow for any, any uh, offset that we have there. We'll need a couple of one, two, three blocks. These are uh, probably already really square, but that's not important. And uh, I've got a couple of parallels here as well, just to space things out. I'll set the the height of the test indicator to be around the top of my little angle plate here. That way we get the get the best uh, measurement we can. If I set it halfway down, we're missing out on half of the half of the room to be find a variation. What we'll do is I'll set one of my one two three blocks flat on the ground, and I've got the magnet roughly set. Just because I took it off so that we get about half a turn on the dial there. And just so we're, we're not uh, too far along on the scale. And what we need to do first, we'll do them that way around. No. Need to make it a fraction lower because I'm missing the top of the block. So you might be saying, what, what if these blocks aren't square? What, what we'll do is, you can do this with, with any piece of steel, um, and I'll show you how in a sec. So we'll get, we'll get that so it's, you can see it's about plus six thou on the, on the scale there. So now I'll turn this one around the other way, so that'll compensate for any error. And here, it's about plus four. So we'll just put that up one more. I'll put it about the zero there. So we've got zero there. Come around the other way. You've got plus two. So maybe these blocks are out by two thou. What I'll do is I'll set the dial now to one thou. Split the difference. There's one tau. Yeah, one tau the other way. So I now know that this face on the bottom block there is exactly at zero on the on the dial when I when I br bring it around the radius there. So if I bring in my angle plate. I can see I've got about two thou there. So that means over the height from about that high, 
this angle plate is out by two thou. There you go guys, that's just a quick way you can uh, check whether your angle plate is square or not. You can use that to check all sorts of stuff. Um, it's not particularly obvious, but when you see it done, you think, oh, that's pretty simple, I can do that. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. I can't really see you.